I'm very humble because your just music is so unbelievable, and we create stories in our minds about about you and the things that well, let inspire me, you. Let me tell you all the stories in real life. Let me hear. <laughs> no. Let me hear. So you have a wedding band on because you're. I a know, band. isn't that crazy? So <laughs> how, how does it? How does it, you? Do women react to you differently with a wedding band? Um, they. I mean, well, no. Because a lot yet. of women, a lot of women look at men differently when they see a wedding man. It's like a man who's willing to commit yeah, and so a family wanna, man. So they want to hit on him. Kind of. I've, I've, I think so. I've heard that it, it attracts more women. I haven't tested that out yet. They said no. He won't yeah. be. Hopefully, he won't women be. Women flirt with me a lot anyway, so. Yeah. I don't know if that'll change. <laughs> I believe you. But you were together for a long time with your wife. Yeah, I've been with her for seven years now. Was she waiting for you to pop to question for a long time? <laughs> well. We got engaged back in 2011 in December, and she never pressured me. She was never like, you know, ultimatum, none of that. But I was ready to do it when I did it. I was excited to do it. I proposed in the Maldives uh, nice. at this like private candlelit dinner on the beach, and uh, it was very exciting. Lucky her. Lucky it, me. Look, yes. yes. Is that. Do you think that's part of it? When a woman isn't, when a woman doesn't pressure a man and kind of just lets him do things at his own pace, that it kind of makes things well, happen at the right time? Maybe some men need a little, uh, you know, push. But she didn't have to push me. I was ready. And how? But we've been together for a long time. Oh my God, that's so stunning. Yes. You're a lucky man. Yes. Very lucky man. Do you feel that the dynamic changes once you're married, once you know that you, you know, that she takes your last name if she does, or just that you have a paper that says that you're yeah, together? Yes, it's like a little more official. You know, we knew we were together. We knew we were a couple, but I think it's cool to bring all your family together, all your friends, and it's such a fun party, and then you declare your love for someone in front of everybody. I think it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And you're proud to say the words, my wife. You yes. say it's different. Like You want to yes. say it all the time. Yes. So you had a big, huge wedding. It wasn't too big. It was like 125 people there. And it was a destination Yeah, wedding. it was in Italy, which is a lot for everybody going to Italy. Yes. And how had it, was it, was it, was there any wedding drama? Well, everything was perfect, except my family was coming from Ohio. I had some family coming from Ohio. I grew up there. and. Uh, they were flying on a Friday, on Thursday night to arrive Friday morning. And they had weather in Ohio on Thursday night, and all of them missed their connection in Chicago. Oh, my God. And they didn't end up getting to Milan until Saturday afternoon, the day of the wedding. Oh, they so had no luggage. None of their clothes came with them. They, we all Everyone had to, was like, naked, naked wedding? We had to scramble. <laughs> we had to scramble to find clothes for them while they were still on their way from the airport. Oh, my and, God. And uh, we started the wedding like two hours late. But oh. other than that, everything was smooth. That's amazing. <laughs> and you obviously stayed there for your honeymoon. Uh, we stayed in Italy, but we went down to Portofino. We got married around Lake Como. And then we went down to Portofino, which is in the Cinque Terre area. Mm -hmm. Then we went down to Florence for a night, and then we went to uh, Capri. And then we went to Greece for a few days, too. Oh, beautiful. Went all around. And you both want to have, you both want to have kids? Do you yes. Want to, you want to have a big family? Love to have kids. Nice. Well, you'll yes. have fun trying. Yes. Um, <laughs> right. And what about, what about, did you have a bachelor party? Yes. You did? Where was it? We actually had our, my bachelor party was in, uh, at the Hamptons, so we were just hanging out in the Hamptons. You had a good time? New York is happy about that. You know what's funny? What's what's striking me is that you know you listen to your music and you must have such you have such an old soul yeah. because it's like it's just such soulful music and I look at you, you're so young like you yeah. I'm just so yeah you it's seem 34 like 34 young I think yes but you look <laughs> you, you look really young too yeah yeah it's amazing yeah. where do you I have get a your baby inspiration face. yes you do but where do you get most of your inspiration for your songs um just from life um, I grew up listening to soul music and uh, grew up listening and playing gospel music so. All of that is in my head, and, and a lot of that inspires my creativity. And then I write about life. I write about the things I'm going through, the things I hear my friends talking about, the things I see in movies, just whatever inspires me at the moment. Well, I want to see, I want to show everyone your new video, Love in the Future. The album's called Love in the Future. The new song is called All of Me. All of Me yes. on the Love in the Future album. Okay, yes. let's see this. And your wife is in it. You're my downfall, you're my muse, my worst distraction, my rhythm and blues. I can't stop singing, it's ringing in my head for you. I want you to know that that's exactly what I look like in the shower. I'm going to show yeah. you. Yeah. It is. I'm I gonna bet. Show. I want to stay? Yeah. I'll show you what I look like in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? If you had to write a song, <laughs> what, what, what would the title of the song be? Crazy. Be, uh, all of me loves all of you, Bethany. Oh. <laughs>